Welcome and welcome back. Hey, what's up, y'all? Today we got a one out of the nook um, out of our collection here, and it's actually, I haven't had it for very long. Um, mm -hmm. This was actually a swap meet find um, here in Virginia. It's it's Sunday, and usually we go flea marketing or swap meeting, whatever you want to call it, and uh, go looking for treasures. And um, it's just a little too cold for that now. A little too chilly. Yeah, so um, um, this is one we found out, well, one that I found about a month ago, and I think I paid, what, like 20 bucks for this? Yeah, 15, about, like, like 15 or 20. 15 or 20 dollars, yeah. And uh, I already reviewed one hollow handle knife on the channel. It was a Parker knife, and I'll show that here in the, in the video, um, just a little comparison size. But I'm into these uh, hollow handle knives, so... Um, he she, likes anything survival. Any, it's survival, he likes it. Yeah, yeah. So, well, it's getting colder, so it's definitely got me in the whole survival mindset. So uh, she, she has all the info on this knife. Let's, uh, go, why don't you go ahead and tell him about it. All right, so this is a U.S. Saburo survival Bowie knife. Large, made in Japan. You've got 14 and 5 8 overall uh, length. Your blade is 9 and 1 8 inches long your handle is five and three quarters it is 15 ounces by itself with and i have to ask is there anything in the handle right now um no there is okay. not so with nothing in the handle it is 15 ounces the sheath it comes with is 5.9 ounces and then together the whole package which also includes a stone is one pound five ounces Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. So, yeah, so it's going to get heavier if you fill it. Not much heavier, but this is empty right now. And I'll, I'll show you guys a closer look at it. Here we go. Um, yeah, so it's the whole 80s. This is made in the 80s by a company called Saburo. Yeah. And uh, we, we just researched them, you know, not too long ago. So I don't know a whole lot about this knife, but here's a little closer look at it. Model SKSRS. Handmade mm -hmm. by Saburo in Japan. But they don't say where in Japan. I tried looking, and they don't. They I don't say. I mean, is yeah. I'm not sure if Saburo is the name. I mean, it, it has to be because it says by Saburo. Yeah. But no, they just say Japan. Check out. It has some really nice texturing on the handle here. Um, as you see the 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 lashing holes there, got two lashing holes on it for the whole spear thing. How thick that is right there. Yeah. So that's. Let's see. Does it stand up? About an inch thick there. Yeah, it stands up. Let's see here. I'm just flat palm my ass. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I guess you can make like a tiger trap out of it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could, right? Yeah, I you mean, hollow could, handle, man. stick a stick, and then stick that down on the stick at the, yeah. in a pit. I'm just saying do that. But yeah, I'm just please saying, don't do that. Because, but... that, you know, that's a whole Rambo move there. Yeah, that's um, I, You know, all right, here we go. We got, uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, the blade length is? Nine and one eight. So we but got yeah, cutting no, surface is not, what. Yeah, you got about a little over seven inches on the on of edge there. Um, you got about an inch of a uh, finger choil or ricasso. Actually, look at the ricasso. about the whole ricasso here is almost you know, inch and three quarters. Yeah. You got about an inch in uh, a finger choil there. Um, really nice finger grooves in it. Um, like this is all aluminum. Or yeah, no, not aluminum, steel. No, uh, I forget what this is, it, but they uh, don't it's, say it's metal. It's metal, and yeah, um, but they don't say what type of metal. Yeah. At least I couldn't find what type of metal. Survival master. You got this saw up here. Feel that. I mean, don't cut yourself or nothing, but... Oh. Man. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty sharp saw that's there. A, yeah, and that's the, a sharper than I was expecting. And the edge here, if you're going to strike a fire steel or whatever, I mean, that's square enough you could. I mean, yeah. You, you can probably hear it there. I can hear it. Scraping my skin, <laughs> yeah. So, as you see, it has that saber grind in it. Yeah. They make another model of this knife, or they made another model of this knife. I don't know if the company is still in. Wicked uh, clip point. Here. Yeah. Yeah. This is the, this. Is, so this is a Survival Master One. Um, they, they came out with. A, oops, excuse me. There, trying to do this both. <laughs> it's a Survival Master Two. It's a. It's a little bit bigger. So. Uh, yeah, that one's pretty and cool. It, it looks like the uh, saws same, are reversed. Same handle and everything. But it looks like the bigger saw is on the towards the back of the blade, yeah. whereas the smaller saw 
is on the front. You see what I yeah. mean? Yeah. reverse you call, the saw. If you call those saws or whatever you want to call them, uh, you know, well, the string holders or whatever. Blade. Yeah, the, your, the gut hooks. Yeah. Uh, That's what it is for uh, pulling the guts out of your enemies. <laughs> well, anyway, the, yeah. those parts are reversed on that That one. saw right there is pretty cool, though, in the front of that one. Yeah. Actually, that's not even a saw. I think that's actually serrations. It is, yeah. It might be serrations. Um, this this one is uh, single edge. The swedge up here, as you see, it just, there's no edge on it or nothing, but it has a, this huge swedge in it that gives it this really nasty clip point. Anyway, grab that other knife. We'll, we'll show them the one that we had prior on. That we showed before on it. And I'll, I'll, I'll open the, the hollow handle on this one. Oh, this is the one by Parker that we had. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like the Survival Master 2 size there. I mean, look at the blade on that one. That is. I mean, yeah, let me just put it at the edge of the paper here. Yeah. So, yeah, the blade on this one's almost a hole. Yeah, eight and a half. Mm -hmm. Wow. I could cut a melon through the, with this through, with this <laughs> yep. as you guys see. If you guys haven't checked the video out on this already, check the video out that we uh, we shot on this. I cut a a cantaloupe with one swipe, one hit with this. It, it was it, this this it knife was is amazing. Yeah, this knife is sweet. <laughs> Once again, Parker, um, made in Japan also. So uh, yeah, just really cool. Like I said, I'm on these hollow handle things right now. These knives and uh, I like collecting them. They're just fun to look at. And I have and one. But it's kind of mall ninja -y. Yeah. Here, you want to take this camera? I'll show them yeah. inside the hollow handle real Definitely. quick. Um, All right. I got it. Yeah. yeah. On screws there. Yeah. There's threads. Nice. Yeah, there's threads down in here. Let's see here. Yeah, dark hole. Let's yeah, see here. Right, right about there. Yeah. So about two inches. You got about two inches you could put. Uh, and it comes with a compass. Yeah. Look at that compass. Yeah, it works too. <laughs> cool. Here, let me set that down. We'll get a closer look at that real quick. Yeah. yeah. It picks up. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it just comes with a little. I mean, it works. It looks like it's yeah, it's working. Anyway, that's. Do we even know what direction the door is? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you could take that compass out. Um, as this this knife here. Um, when you take that that uh, that cap off, it's just hollow, which you can use it for a bow drill or a candle holder. Um. Uh, just other different options, but it doesn't have a compass. So if this having a compass in it is pretty cool um, That's a cool little feature, but once again, yeah, you're losing out on that other other little modifications If you want to do unless you dig that out you got a gasket ring on there And this has a hex head nut on it or some type of like octagonal nut on it mm -hmm. So I mean if you're really trying to wrench something in I guess you could use a crescent wrench or some type. I don't know what size you know metric that is but uh, this one has a smooth with a little it's all smooth round and uh just has a little bit of grip, abrasion. yeah. And this had, this has some just swelling on it. But this is nice. The real checkering are really nice and smooth, nothing rough. Mm -hmm. Really cool knife. And here's the sheet that comes with it. Yeah, just you know, genuine leather it says on it. But this is from the '80s, so I mean, it's kind of like as you see, it's peeling away. <laughs> it's like <laughs> looks like pleather to me. <laughs> but um, leather. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I got this knife 15, 20 bucks, but I couldn't pass it up. It just, it was. I picked it up and I was like, you know what? I think there's, there's more value here. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, I just like collecting these hollow handle knives anyway. But uh, here, let's try some of the features on it real quick. Um, here, let's leave that off. You want to take the camera? We'll do a quick yep. cut test. Uh, all right. Let's try paper real quick. Yeah. So it has somewhat of, of a good edge on it right now. I mean, as you see that saber grind and how thick that stock is on this metal. Yeah. I mean, so it, it'll cut in a pinch there with with paper if you're in the wilderness cutting paper. It will but, cut. Uh, yeah, it will cut. It will cut. And right, let's try some string. This is just boot string. Wow. Oh, it got caught up. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It got caught up in those little uh. The gut hooks. The gut hooks. Yeah. There we there go. It goes. Yeah. Let's try it one more time. Mhm. Mm so you know, little boot strings or whatever. There it goes. Yeah. Real easy. So there's some cut tests. Let's try this saw out real quick. Okay. Let's reach over and I got this plug of wood here. Um, you know, about, a, about an inch. Let's just try the saw type of notches it can do real quick. Yeah, so. Let's see here. Yeah, so I'm not sure if it's making notches, but it's definitely scraping. It's scraping the bark away. Yeah, so. Uh, but that is, that is super sharp. Let's see here. You're probably better off with your little Swiss Army knife, to be honest with you, the little <laughs> saw that comes. There it goes. It's creating a little bit of a notch there. Yeah. I'm sure if I work at it, it's not much of, it's not much of a saw here. Um, it's not even really a saw. It's just more, it looks like more of a string, 
for, for notching things. But uh, let's see here. Oh, it's yeah, good. so there it goes. Eh, a little bit. That's what it is. Yeah. But like I said, I mean, look at that. It's like two inches of, mm -hmm. of just, uh, but it, uh, I think it's just getting fire material and tinder. I mean, look at all that. Yep. Really, really fine sawdust there. Uh, making a mess. All right, let's try something <laughs> else. Um, first of all, don't what pocket knife you got on today? I have your leak. The leak. Nice. Of course. Excellent. It's usually what I carry when I'm at home. I got my uh, Harns uh, uh, giant giant silkworm and 14 C28N. Just got the worm. Yeah, I'm still trying to break this thing in, but it's it's getting there. Got the worm. It's working it better than the first, the first uh, day you got it, though. Yeah. <laughs> and this thing is just a slicing beast. Um, I got vegetables here today, and once uh, it heard vegetables, and it came out of its little <laughs> wormhole. And, uh, yeah, so I, I, I said, I'm going to go ahead and pocket this bad boy today. But that's what we're, 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 we're rocking today on Sunday. Yeah. Um, so we don't really have any work work knives. Uh, let's slide that through over here, okay. that cut oh. test. with um, Yeah, go ahead and slide that, and I'll slide this in the frame here. So we got cucumber and we got an old uh, onion. onion. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wipe that off. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna I'm just gonna swing this without the pommel on, just to give it a little bit more balance. And I'll show you before I start um, where the balance. Yeah, go ahead and wipe all that off. That way I don't get any inside of this cucumber. But you know, yeah, the onion and everything. All right, thank you. Uh huh. All right. Prep so like item. I said, prep the item. I got right. I got the uh, I got the I got the pommel off and. Uh, now this is about an oh, inch and three quarters, not not at, the, at, at its widest, so um, so it's not going uh, to go, I'm sure it'll go through a melon, but you might get some of that melon in here. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, so let's try the balance just here, just with the pommel, um, see where that balance is at. Yeah, so if I put my finger in there, it just, it just wants, it just wants to drop forward. So actually, let's, let's try it here. I should have, I should have did a balance <laughs> test first before. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's still, still, it's still really blade heavy. Yeah, it's still really blade heavy. And actually, let me go ahead and take it off just for. There we go. We'll take it off. All right, let's just do a quick chop here okay. on both of them. Well, yeah, no problem. Let's do that. Yeah, oh! no problem. Wow, that hits hard though. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. There it goes. All right, hold that again. Hold this? No, hold the uh, camera. camera? Okay. Yes, thank you. Camera. All right, let's try some more control cutting. Yeah, some slice in there. Careful. Here. Oh, so, that's yeah. really good. Yeah, I can see. I can get it. I can get uh -huh. it pretty thin. I see. All right, got right, a little bit of wood grip chips in it. All right, there we go. There you go. I'm gonna eat the woody ones first. Let's try. Let's try peeling it. Ooh, Careful. That went a little deep. Yeah, that saber grind just really really dug down in there mm -hmm. but as you see guys super sharp cool rambo inspired 80s knife yeah had to show it we picked it up a couple couple weeks ago it's yep. been sitting there and i've been just dying to do a little quick review on it for y'all <laughs> <laughs> but there it is so it does some slicing does some chopping uh what else we got here uh that's, that's pretty it. much it yeah okay so you know, shout out to all of our subscribers. We really appreciate y'all helping our channel grow. Yes, thank you so much, man, for everyone tuning in. So, um, I, I, I hope you guys liked the video. And um, and for all you uh, guys who haven't subscribed yet, uh, hit that subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.